So can you give people a little bit of background on how you got to where you are today? I guess because my you know father passed away, I wanted to fit in and be accepted by everyone, which is unhealthy. I just wanted to fit in, and I ended up getting involved in drugs, uh, smoking weed. And this was at nine and led all the way up to 17. And one night, you know, we decided to go out and rob some houses. And I caught a case from that, and I thought I'd just, you know, oh, God, I threw my life away. And, you know, I started selling heavier drugs, and then I started using them, became a full-blown crack addict in hotels, picking crack crumbs off the carpet and stuff. Jeez, Dude, man. yeah, out there, uh, plunging needles in my arm, overdosing on heroin, you name it, just completely out there, no purpose in life. And I ended up going to prison for uh, four years flat on a seven-year sentence. Got out after I did that. Uh, and, you know, I, I kind of had my stuff together, but not all the way. Yeah. Came home when I was 23. I was still drinking. Um, you know, I landed a job, thankfully, at a bar and grill as a cook. And then I got a job at this uh, clothing store. And I got promoted right away because I was really good at it. I was their top salesperson. And so I put in my two weeks where I had some stability in my life at the bar and grill. Mm -hmm. And a couple days after that, I get a phone call. And they're like, you're a convicted felon, dude. You got to kick rocks. I'm like, what? They just kicked you out like that? Yeah, because they, when they hired me, you know, they didn't really look into my background as much. But when they did the promotion, human resources got involved and it shot up a red flag. Hey, this guy's a convicted felon. Why is he working here? Yeah. And Missouri has a right to a right to work act or whatever where they can fire you for no no reason at all. So right. just like that, I went from having stability in my life, working 50 to 60 hours a week to nothing. And instead of just, you know, grinding and out and searching for other opportunity, I chose to throw a pity party, feel sorry for myself, and I became a full-blown alcoholic. I'm talking about drinking all day, every day. This went on for a few months. Then I caught a DWI, and I landed myself. I woke up in Ferguson Police Department from a blackout drunk, and I, was, I learned that I was heading back to prison for eight months. And this was 20 days before my sons were born. And that right there was just like... This is it, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this That was like a pivotal moment for me. It's like when I found my meaning, my purpose in life, and everything changed from there. And I went, I did my eight months. You know, it was tough uh, being away from my family, missing them being born. But when I got home, I just had a new uh, a fire in my belly. I just said, I'm going to be successful at something because I want to be there for my family. I didn't know what, <laughs> but uh, I yeah. wanted to do something. And I was looking for a job, couldn't find anything, filling out five to 20 applications a day, seven days a week, literally yielding zero results. Uh, and then a guy reached out to me about a home-based business opportunity in network marketing. And at the time, you know, I didn't even know what network marketing was, so you couldn't scare me off with the word pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I got into it, and I was able to build almost a $2,000 a month income off of it, which isn't, you know, like, oh, my God, you're rich or nothing. Not even close to it, but for me, it was a game changer. It, I was able to provide for my family, you know, and it gave me hope and showed me that, hey, it's not all over just because I made mistakes in the past. Your past mistakes don't define, you know, your to it's tomorrow's. It's what you do today right now. And I did that for about two years, and it, it's just it just wasn't my true passion. But I'm forever grateful for network marketing because it led me to where I'm at now, and I wrote the book. To, I wanted to share my story. I, I feel like I have something of value to share with the world. And I wrote this book in a more detailed sense of my life experience. And that kind of just sparked more, you know, passion, more of a, a, a fire inside of me. And now it led me to, you know, to the life coaching, to the motivational speaker. And yeah, I, I no longer do the network marketing, but I definitely am grateful for it though. Yeah, that's a crazy story, man. I think, <laughs> I mean, to go from basically rock bottom to, you know, pivoting and transitioning. And now where you're at, it's crazy to see that 